Evelyns, repórter do Mais Esportes. Eu estou aqui com a ilustre presença do Bjergsen, que é mid laner da TSM e joga na LCSNA. Very nice to have you here. It's a pleasure to interview you. And I want to know how is it going the trip to Brazil and how is it going to uh, keep in touch with the Brazilian fans here. It's been a lot of fun. I came in just yesterday morning, so I haven't really gotten to see much. But we went over food last night. I got a, to have a caipirinha, which is very good. Uh, and just meeting all the fans here and being here at the convention. Uh, are you enjoying the jazz? The, the fair? Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought. I didn't know much about it before I came here. And obviously there's just so many people and so many big booths and so much cool stuff to see. So it's much more than I expected, much crazier. And so many people, so many fans. It's really awesome. And do you know anything about the Brazilian competitive scene? I don't know too much because there's so many leagues now, it's kind of hard to follow all of them. I watch games sometimes when I see them up on Twitch and I'll watch, but I'm, I'm not too involved. But do you know any players of CBLO? Um, well, I know the really famous ones like Kami, BRTT. I met them in Worlds like 2016 and I talked to them a little bit in the car going back to the hotel. They were really interesting. And do you know anything about their gameplay? I've seen Kami play Katarina a lot, and he's actually really good. I know he's called the Brazilian Baker, not the NA Baker, so uh, we have that in common. Uh, this year, TSM didn't classify it for, for words, right? Uh, this is less sad that you, you didn't classify it so you, can, you could come here? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I mean, if I went to Worlds, I wouldn't be here, so it's really awesome that I got the comp. It's still sad, obviously, that we didn't make it, but overall, the split for season was really as good as I would have liked. I didn't get to play in finals, I didn't get to win any, so that's, I didn't get to go to Worlds, so... But, you know, sometimes you have to lose, and I'll try to use it as fuel to do it better next season. And what do you think was, uh, were the, the problems of TSM, these splits, so you couldn't have the, the best campaign? Obviously, it's a lot of small things, it's not just one big thing, but we didn't feel like we were really able to, even even with our roster, we ended up changing our mic, and then we had kind of some coaching staff issues in the summer split, and we made some changes, so we weren't even able to kind of have just one roster and work on that, so that's obviously a problem, and just kind of not fully agreeing on how we want to play the game, how we want to train, and, and getting that sorted out in the beginning, so it's something we kind of struggle with a lot in the season. Towards the end of the season, we started getting better, but it wasn't enough for the ECI. And can you tell me more about the, the small things that happened to the team? Yeah, I mean, for example, the patches were really crazy. The game in Summer Split went really bonkers. There were like Bruiser's ball lane, AP ball lane. Uh, just everyone had to play a lot more champions. And when everyone has to play a lot more champions, the enemy has to play more champions. No one is playing at the same high level as usual, so you don't get to practice your teamwork and macro as well because you're kind of more so learning the champions, the matchups, and things like that. So it we'll definitely slow down our progress. So let's talk a, lot, a little bit about words. Right? Are you watching the words? I'm watching a little bit. When I was back in America, the time zone is really bad, so the games start like 1 a.m. in the middle of the night, and then they go to like 6 a.m. So I watch a few of the games before I go to sleep, but it's hard for me to kind of stay up all night watching. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. NA is not doing so good so far, again. Uh, but I really like watching Fnatic and Caps play, especially as a rookie as well. They're really good. And about Caps, uh, we, we, we can't avoid to speak about Caps because he's a monster. He's yeah. a mecha mechanical beast in these words. And who do you... Could you tell that Caps is, uh, in this moment, the best mid laner of the world? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to say he's the best, but he's definitely up there. I think there's also rookies, super good, new Cal. There's a lot of good mid laners at Worlds, but Caps is definitely not worse than any of them. I just don't know if he's also better. They're definitely like close skill level. But Caps is just crazy. He's just a crazy guy. When you play against him, He's, not, he's never afraid to do anything. He's always like look for kills, and he's just very fun to play and to watch. I learned a lot from him. And do you think NA and EU is being well 
represented in words this year? Uh, it looks pretty similar to most other years. Not really doing much better, not really doing much worse. Uh, hopefully some teams can get really far. Because even if NA loses and EU goes through, I'm a little bit of both. I'm from Europe, I play NA, so I'm just happy if any of the rest of the teams do well. I think most likely Fnatic, but G2 has also had some really good games this world, which I was pretty surprised with. They didn't look so strong in EU and in lands, but it seems like they really stepped it up. You guys had, so, had two decisive series uh, uh, against Cloud9 yeah. uh, in the, the playoffs. your spot in work yeah. and after this series you said on Twitter that Cloud9 was just better. Yeah. Uh, do you think they are representing the, the NA in the words in the the best way? I think the meta is not so good for the meta worlds. When they were in NA they were doing just really crazy stuff all the time. But I think that when you go to Worlds, everyone is scrimming each other for a long time on the same patch. So the patch is kind of figured out, or everyone is playing the same stuff. But in NA, there was patches changing a lot. So C9 was fast to pick up on like new strategies and crazy strategies. So I think that they're kind of having a hard time doing that same thing in Worlds as they were able to do against us. I still think they, they will do well. I have, I have trust in C9. To finish speaking about Worlds, who do you think is going to win the, the championship fight? Whoa! I mean, everyone pretty much says it's but probably RNG or KT. I think they're just looking like the strongest team right now. I want to see maybe Fnatic in the finals, <laughs> maybe take in the finals, but I think it'll be difficult. I think those teams, top Korean teams, top Chinese teams, are just they're so strong. Just one team, choose one. One? Uh, RNG. Who seems too good? Who seems to to finish the interview, do you want to send some message to the Brazilian fans that are watching us right now? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you guys for coming to see me here at BGS. It's been really nice to see all of you guys at meetings over here, Brazilian fans. Brazilian fans are always really passionate and funny and, and, and crazy and always smiling, which I appreciate a lot. And uh, it just gives a lot of energy. So thank you guys for that. So, can, uh, the name of our website is Mighty Sports, and we have this personal meme that is Acessa. So, can you say Acessa o mais esportes? One more time. Acessa o mais esportes. Acessa o mais esportes. Is that okay? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your interview, for yeah. your words. It was really a pleasure to speak with you. Então, galera, muito obrigada por assistirem o vídeo. Se inscrevam aqui no canal e valeu por assistirem. And you have never had caipirinha here? I did last year too. I had one, yeah. They're really strong in Brazil. Yes. Yeah, they are really strong. Good. But did you enjoy? Yeah, it was good. And what about brigadeiro? I don't know. What is that? Brigadeiro is a sweet that we have that is like condensed milk. You know? I haven't tried yes, it's a, it. Yes, it's like milk and sugar and chocolate. And I'll try it's to <laughs> And it's a, a very traditional candy that we have.